hello, hello, and thanks for tuning in. Great to see you again. You wondering why I'm standing right in front of my bike? <laughs> thanks. Good question. And the reason for that is Speedplay. Speedplay pedals. As some of you might know, I love biking and I love to go on long bike rides. If not, now you know it. But recently it started for me that I have pain in my knee after 40-50 mile rides and it's really a pain to get back home sometimes so I wanted to try different bike pedals so this time with the speed play I hope that this will help a little bit additionally to other things I'm trying to do um, next step would be a bike fitting or whatever but for now I want to try with the speed play and I want to show you how to put them on the bike the new pedals as well as putting the cleats onto the shoes the speed play pedals Just follow me and help me to take off the old pedals and put on the new pedals and... Believe it or not, after three years, finally I will change my mountain bike style pedals. Pretty small compared to my head, definitely, compared to my eye. What I realized the last couple weeks and months, um, I'm slowly getting pain in my knee. In my case, the left knee after I do about 40 miles and more. So it starts to increase the pain after every pedal stroke. And uh, I was talking to different people, I was also doing my own research, and um, apparently those speed play pedals seem to be very good and knee friendly because they have just more play where you can wiggle around with your foot. I want to try it, I want to put them on, and I want to show you how that works um, just to change the bike pedals. We'll start with taking off the old existing bike pedals. And for today's video we'll need, um, either we'll have a special tool for removing the bike pedals, 15mm uh, wrench, but we'll also need some gloves if you don't want to make your hands crazy and dirty. And we'll also need some crease um, to lubricate those new bike pedals. And of course, a rag. Who doesn't need those, those disgusting things? We will need it. Let's first put on gloves. To exchange the left side bike pedal, it's easiest when you get it in this position. You have to loosen it up in this direction, so you have to want to squeeze it down for me. See if it works good or easy. Oh, it worked pretty well. So we're working on the left side. So I want to take also the left side here to L for left. I also want to clean it really quick and want to put on new crease. So I'll remember the direction of uh, where to turn. This goes in this direction. Always in this direction on the left side for this one. I want to do it hand tight. That's how it works. We'll do the same on the other side. For the right side, same as before, it opens up in this direction, backwards. And what I like to do, because I, I lubricate mine very well, so I can hang it and I can open it. Um, this angle seems to be good for me this time, and when I want to loosen it, I just hold on the grip on the right side, and I push it down with a lot of force, but not too much for me. That's great. I really like how I tightened them up last time, how well I lubricated it. That's key. Cleaning it really quick. I'm taking the right side pedal. There's an R, I'm not sure we can see it. And we'll lubricate it as well. This time maybe a little less than I did last time. And I wanna go this direction to lock it in. And there we go. This time it's the easiest to go backwards and then try to push it down. So that's it. It's on. For my shoe, I have to loosen this cleat up to get it off. And I have those components, um, an adapter plate for the Shimano, as well as the mounting stuff, which goes onto the Shimano adapter plate. And then there's a walkable plate or whatever. Don't damage the speed play system. There exists a table, uh, which is also included in the box, which tells you, um, according to your shoe you have, which of those blue shins you need to put. I do know that I need to replace this shin with... Don't need them anymore, finally. Away, away. This one works like this. And it's marked with a 5R for rear and 6F for front, and that's how it goes on there. There's also a center line drawn, also center line drawn here. Did some measurements earlier, and I need to go about 
first screw just to hold it in place and adjust as I need to. Here, that's what I did. Measure. So with this adapter blade, it's just moving up and down. You don't want to over tighten it, otherwise you will damage your shoe. That's how it should look like. Next one will be to install it here. The flat side here you can see, hopefully a little bit, here's left. This side, the flat side here is where the crank is here on the side. There's the arm coming in. So make sure it's also the nose is coming out here. Just want to do it first to see if that's sufficient. Same for those screws, don't over tighten them. But you want to have them good attached to your adapter plate. That's how it should look like. And as I mentioned, I can move it around. What I also want to do, I will want to adjust here the floating ability so I have enough play. And finally, putting on. And now I want to put it into the paddles because uh, I think the first 50 times it can be very stiff and you want to try to get the in and out all the time before you start riding. And uh, of course, also adjust it now a little bit more so. Remember, as soon as you put on those new pedals, it is also important that you adjust your shoe and also the cleat on your on your uh, shoe itself, just to make sure you have the right adjustment. Otherwise, <laughs> I can tell you maybe in the next couple of weeks, did I adjust it correct? How many times did I need to adjust it? And is the bike paying gun? We'll figure out. Now you know how to change the bike pedals and also how to put the cleats onto your shoes. I would recommend you buying it at a local bike shop. That's what I did. I'll put the information in the description as well. Great bike shop here in LA. I hope it was helpful for you. Hope to see you next time. Thank you. Cheers. And thanks for tuning in in Toby's Real Life Skills with Toby. By the way, that's me. By the way, that's me.